کنگره ایالات متحده استماع جان کری وزیر خارجه تأکید نمایندگان کنگره بر تعهد آمریکا در مورد حفاظت مجاهدان اشرفی و انتقال آنها به آمریکا واشنگتن 13 مارس 2014 جان کری وزیر خارجه آمریکا من از زمانی که یک سناتور بودم نگران این موضوع بودم ما باید این افراد را منتقل کنیم در مورد انتقال آنها به آمریکا آژانس امنیت داخلی کاخ سفید و آژانس های دیگر مانند قضاییه مشغول بررسی این موضوع هستند و دارند تصمیم می گیرند که آیا این قابل انجام است And in addition, I'd like to submit, lastly, for the record, a letter to President Obama requesting that the administration consider giving those at Camp Liberty in Iraq the opportunity to receive political refugee status for those who are eligible. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, um, a couple of issues. Uh, first is the Camp Ashraf. Yep. And you've got our friends here in their yellow jackets. Uh, it is very clear that they, their group in Iraq have been attacked and murdered in great numbers and on several occasions and that the current government of Iraq is either in collusion with <laughs> these murderers uh, or at least uh, they're turning their back and letting this happen. I have a piece of legislation, H.R. 3707, which would grant asylum to these people at Camp Ashraf who are obviously in danger. Uh, is the administration uh, supporting this concept and this legislation. Uh, Congressman, let me just say, first of all, uh, there's one solution to the problem of what is now Camp Aria, uh, formerly Ashraf, and uh, the, the answer is, and I've been concerned about it since I was a senator, we need to relocate those folks. It's one of the things we're looking at. We've managed, I've appointed a special uh, 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 special envoy slash uh, advisor who are now being transferred to Albania. We have another about a hundred going to Germany. Okay. And we are now looking at the process here internally. We're working with UNAMI, with UNHCR, the government of Iraq, other relevant okay. authorities. But right now, the White House, Department of Homeland Security, and other relevant agencies are looking at how many we might be able I, to I would ourselves. hope that within 30 days, if, we, if all these things that you've talked about have not come to fruition, that we decide to act and bring them here so that at least they'll be safe. Otherwise, the blood of these murdered innocent people are on our hands. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and the third concern I have is about the MEK. Uh, When you were here in April last year, since you were here then, I talked to ask you questions about it, then again in December, uh, there have been uh, 62 members of the uh, MEK in uh, Iraq uh, that have been murdered. When is the State Department going to make a decision to allow members of the MEK that are stuck in Iraq to come to the United States? When will that decision be made? Those are my two questions. Well, that decision is, is under review right now. As I said earlier, you may not have been here. You may oh, I, I know that you, what you said earlier, that it's under review, but when are you going to decide to make the decision to uh, either allow them to well, come in or not come in? Homeland Security and the White House and other agencies, uh, Justice, for instance, are engaged in an analysis of, uh, you know, whether or not that can be done based on our judgments uh, with respect to how many and whether it worked.